coverage you can count on begins as it's been a month since a man from Barnwell County disappeared from his home. Aiken Bureau Chief Sean Cabbage Talk shares the desperate plea from his family. We look in the woods all the time. You know, you just look and you just, what happened? How? Where? The last time Melissa Still Chavis saw her brother Michael Still was on February 3rd when he left her Williston home for his apartment at Colony West in Barnwell. So we know he left that Tuesday on the 6th sometime in the night because the house was lit, lit up. And these, these doors you have to lock from the outside with a key. So he didn't lock that back door when he left. So he had to left in a hurry. Despite personal items found in his apartment, his car still in the parking lot, and extensive search efforts, there's still uncertainty about his well-being. I'm assuming that he didn't have any shoes on because the shoes that he normally wears was in the room. His glasses are there. His watch is there. He never went anywhere without those two things. The apartments appear to have no cameras, adding to the case's complexity. I heard that they had cameras, but they weren't look working. It's time to get cameras. The Barnwell County Sheriff's Office and other agencies are actively involved in the investigation. They've had DNR on uh, four-wheelers. They've had the cadaver dogs. They've had uh, somebody flew a drone over it. The Sheriff's Office explained in a statement there is no concrete evidence connecting Stu's disappearance to later discovery of 17-year-old Malaysia Hogg. People have asked to do a community search, and I would love to do that, but I just need to know where to start. There's a more than $3,700 reward from the family and $300 from the sheriff's office for information leading to his discovery. The family sees answers, justice, and closure. He deserves to be found. And then I'll work on why and the answers of why somebody did this. Um, but I just want